today I'm going to show you how to make plots uh, more smooth in origin software here I have a TG DTG curve of a polymer material and uh, you can see that here I have determined the glass transition temperature but uh, uh, the DTG curve is very much uh, unsmooth there are many many fluctuations so if we will send this paper for publication then uh, they may have some comments so uh, I'm going to show you how to measure the glass transition temperature and uh, how to make this curve more smooth so uh, we start from here you click on uh, this curve that is not smooth you will go to analysis and go to signal processing and here you will go to smooth and then you will go to open dialog so here our dialog will appear like this so what uh, you are going to do is here is you will select here uh, you will choose here adjust averaging and uh, here is uh, there are uh, option that uh, how many points you want to skip here there are five points so uh, I am again going to show you the curve that is very uh, bad so you can look it now and uh, I will show you if I change this to 15 let's see what will happen i choose it to 15 and go to preview and uh, it will appear here you see one is the red line and another one is the black line so the red one line is a new adjusted line i will go and click here so you see we have new data and here we have uh, now two curves so what I can do is uh, uh, I can simply go here and uh, I can I don't want this dotted line with uh, so many points I will go to remove so you see this curve is looking much more smooth and uh, there are minor fluctuations but uh, it is not important I can remove them or the another option is I go to uh, line I change it to line plus symbol so you can see how much uh, this curve is improved and uh, I can make it more beautiful by uh, choosing here I will go to this uh, it looks very good I go to here you see now it is looking very beautiful but you still see here there is a gap between the lines so I need to adjust the line I will click here I will go to line gap not gap to the symbols I will click here draw line behind or you can draw in front of the symbols okay so you see the line is smooth and the curve is looking very beautiful now how to determine the glass transition temperature here this first peak is due to the evaporation due to removal of the water molecules and for DTG you also DTG is uh, here it is red I should mention it in another color so this one is DTG and uh, it uh, looks uh, like this so I will what I will do for the determination of the glass transition temperature I will plot one curve line here another line I will plot from here this point to another one where there is a change in the slope and now I will simply connect uh, the this middle line uh, to other two lines then you will see that uh, there will be point A and point B are generated so what I'm going to do next is I will just uh, for example measure this point this point is uh, 99 temperature is here is 99 here is uh, temperature is 
178 so i will just uh, take the average of these two points and uh, we can we will have uh, the glass transition here and uh, another important uh, thing to note is that uh, at the glass transition exothermic reaction peak will appear for the dtg curve and uh, for the endothermic reactions uh, where heat is uh, absorbed exo mean heat is removed uh, and endo mean when heat is uh, go inside uh, the sample so at the glass transition temperature we we saw uh, we see here exothermic peak and it is exactly at the point where we saw a glass transition temperature and uh, there are endothermic peaks suggest a lot of uh, heat is absorbed before the glass transition temperature and suddenly it is removed at the glass transition temperature once there is a glass transition then again heat will be absorbed and uh, finally it will uh, be smooth like this hope uh, this uh, video uh, help you to smooth out your curves and uh, if uh, this uh, tutorial was helpful for you then i hope you will subscribe this channel so that uh, in future you will learn many other problems uh, related to uh, science and uh, technology and also uh, i will guide students about how to write uh, papers and how to make them uh, suitable for publication thank you